Sergeant Major William Willie Lubbers was one of the best combat leaders I ever knew. And I knew a lot of great, I've known a lot of great combat leaders. Um, Willie was not only a great combat leader, a ferocious fighter, but he was also just a, a kind, amazing husband, father, and friend. Uh, Third Special Forces Group NCO, I had the honor of working with Willie in 2010 during the Village Stability Program that we were working and he was a company sergeant major. I know a lot of people watching this have worked with uh, Willie in varying capacities and know him to be just such an amazing, amazing friend, warrior, and, and just patriot. Um, we lost Willie on November 15th, 2012, and not the way that you would think we would lose an amazing warrior like this. And I, I wanted to, to highlight Willie as our Memorial Day discussion. And in this five part series that I'm doing right now, five lessons that I learned from combat. And these are lessons that I think every single person on the planet, from young kid to senior citizen can, can learn from. Because there are some very, very amazing lessons that come out of this corrosive thing that we call combat. The thing I learned that I wanna talk about today as we go into Memorial Day is that every breath is precious. Every breath we take in, every breath we let out is precious because our time on this earth is limited and we don't know how much time we have. And I will tell you that Sergeant Major Willie Lubbers knew that. He took advantage of every breath he took in and every breath he let out. Um, the way he lived his life, um, the, the way that he dedicated himself to the Special Forces community and to the nation, multiple tours, combat missions, 100 combat missions in Iraq, Pakistan, Afghanistan, um, Purple Heart, highly decorated. But what I loved about Willie, like even when he was a sergeant major and he and his company commander, Jason, would drive through this treacherous Kandahar terrain to resupply their remote village stability outpost where their teams were, he was always in the lead vehicle. Whenever they would come up on an IED, he and Jason would get out of the truck and they would trace the IED back uh, and render it safe. That's just how they were. And every time you would see Willie, he would come walking over. He'd have that big dip of Copenhagen in his mouth and a big grin. And he was just the kind of guy you wanted to be around all the time because he knew that every breath was precious. Every connection mattered. And that's just how he lived his life. And even though we lost him in 2012, his memory always stays with me. Um, and, and when I think about, you know, the, the number one thing that Willie taught me, it was that to really value life to really value friendships and connections. Um, and he was always like that in the darkest of times. He always, he, he was always up and always with a grin on his face. And I'm proud to have known him and I'm proud to, to call him a friend. And it's on this day that we honor him as, as we move towards Memorial Day. And I hope that as you go through this week and you go into Memorial Day, yeah, I know there'll be the parties and the barbecues and people will be out on this river behind me you know, hooping it up. Uh, but I do hope that you'll remember that Memorial Day is for our fallen, right? And, and you know, Willie was actually uh, in, in Midland, Texas for a Veterans Day parade and was on, a, was on a, a float that was hit by a train and several other service members were killed as well, but not before they saved the lives of those around them. Uh, Willie was able to get his wife off the train. And, and I, I will tell you, uh, that's how he lived his life. That's just the kind of guy that he was. Um, and for all of us, as we go into Veteran or Memorial Day, I just hope that you'll remember our fallen for what they gave us, for what they sacrificed so that we could live the life that we live. And I hope that, I pray that, you'll value every breath you take, right? Just recommit yourself. What if we all recommitted ourselves to just really valuing the breaths that we're able to take in our life and live each breath as if it's our last? I just think that's a powerful way to honor our fallen. And as we close this session out, I'd like to leave you with, um, with a, a speech by Theodore Roosevelt called The Man in the Arena that I think sums up the importance of making sure that every breath is precious and that we honor and remember men and women like Willie who gave everything 
so that we could take those breaths. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, who strives valiantly, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, who actually does strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best, in the end, knows the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. I hope you enjoy your Memorial Day weekend, and I hope that you'll remember our fallen and what they gave us, and that you'll make sure that every breath you take is precious. I'll see you on the rooftop.